What? Oh, hello there. I'm standing here at the most northern tip of Japan's main island of Honshu in Aomori, in front of a big factory that sells lots of cider, and we're about to go on a whirlwind road trip across Aomori Prefecture. It's going to be a lot of fun. These are apples. They look like grapes, but they're not. They're apples. And um, don't take them. Don't pick them off in public. That would be wrong. That would be very bad. But don't do that. Aomori lies at the most northern tip of Honshu. It's a region with a strong cultural identity and an impressive range of cuisine, from Japan's most prized tuna in the Sugaru Strait in the north, to horse meat barbecue in the historic town of Gonahe in the east. Today, however, we're going on a journey of West Aomori to try five local dishes, including an incredibly rare delicacy, bear meat, something I can't say I've ever had before. But why is it eaten here and what does it taste like? We'll also stay overnight at a traditional inn, visit a picturesque shrine, and watch Ryotaro make a fool of himself as per usual. And our two-day road trip kicks off in Aomori City at the A Factory, a tribute to the region's number one export, apples. And of course, the presence of apples means you can enjoy the perfect drink to kick off your morning. There's a reason I love Aomori so much. Uh, it's not just the apples, it's the cider. And this is a cider vending machine. For 200 yen, you can get a shot of your favourite brand. And uh, my favourite is Kimori Cider Sweet. I'm having this instead of coffee this morning. Come on, fill that cup. Well, it, no, what? Is that it? It's like a shot of cider. Um, probably a good thing, given it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Okay. Obviously, you can't drink and drive in Japan, and we are going on a road trip, so I needed a driver, a chauffeur, and they're all busy, so... I've got Ryotaro with us. How you doing, Ryotaro? An expensive chauffeur. Expensive chauffeur. Oh, this is good. Nice, crisp, refreshing taste of apple in the morning. Beautiful, beautiful. As a, as a liquor breakfast, that's why I have Liquor it. breakfast. <laughs> I know you and I don't agree on many things, Ryotaro, but one thing we do agree on is Aomori is our favourite prefecture in Tohoku. Yes, There's six do. prefectures in Tohoku, and we live in Miyagi Prefecture. Uh, what is it about Aomori that keeps bringing us back, you think? I don't know, they've got lots of meat, good meat, and also uh, you've got cider there, and oh, great uh, fish as well, the sushi. Uh, they serve really good sushi here as well. But let's face it, it's mainly the cider, at least for me anyway. In my defence, I need a liquor breakfast just to get through my morning with Ryotaro. But our first stop, an hour west of Aomori City, is one of Japan's longest wooden bridges, the Dancing Crane Bridge, Tsurunomae Hashi. Constructed from local cypress trees and famous for its three iconic arches, walking across it is said to bring good luck, as the crane is seen as a symbol of longevity in Japanese culture. It seems rather fitting given that Aomori has the lowest life expectancy of any prefecture in Japan, and we'll find out why a bit later on. And no, it's not because of the bears. So we just stopped off at the longest triple arch bridge in Japan, is that right? Triple three, arch? 300 meters long. It could just be the longest bridge, they had to complicate it with the arches and But wood. the thing is, they could not call it the longest bridge, it's the longest triple arch bridge, that's what it it's is. It's all about getting that title, isn't it? Exactly, it's the number one title that they needed. It's a really nice view though, you've got Mount Iwaki in the background, the tallest mountain in Aomori, right? Yep. So how long has this bridge been here? 300 years, 400 years? 23 years. Tw what? 23 years. 23 years. Do they build these bridges just to win awards and get those triple arch titles? <laughs> so I guess so. Um, it's nice though, like if you are going to build a bridge across a lake, don't just build another boring generic bridge. Build something like this, right? Build something that's actually beautiful to look at. So I think you've got to be, you've got to be building what? Like the qu Quattro, what is it? Like <laughs> Quattro Bridge. Qu quattro uh, Arch Bridge. Quattro, quattro be number one. Quattro Arch Bridge. That's what it is. Let's get crowdfunding. Let's exactly. make it happen. <laughs> checking into our traditional inn at Dake Hot Springs. Before enjoying our evening banquet serving up three local meat dishes, I'm able to finally sneak away from Ryotaro to the comfort of my own room. So, just checked into the room and uh, it's my favourite part of any journey with Ryotaro, the bit where I get to go to my own room and get away from the man for a few minutes. And uh, the room today is rather spectacular. Check this out. How beautiful is this? Now I'll admit, when I come out and film these videos these days, I often don't bother filming the room anymore because I've seen it so many times that they all start to blend into one, they all start to look the same, but this one in particular has so much character to it. The 
artwork, the pottery, the embroidery, the lighting. The lighting is pretty elaborate here. There's even some sort of stove in the middle of the table that I don't know how to use, and I don't use it for fear of burning the place down, but still my time in this room is fairly short-lived. We're about to go and get dinner, and uh, I know it's gonna be a weird one. Riotre mentioned that it involves a lot of bizarre meats, and uh, well, that's never a good thing, usually. What have we got then, Riotto? There's, there's, there's an assortment of meats here. I don't know what they are. Hunter Omakase Chef's Recommendation Course, that's what it is. Hunter Omakase. Hunter Omakase. Okay, so what's uh, what's this one here? I'm gonna call this the most daring looking dish. Uh, what, what is it? It looks like sashimi. Oh, it's a deer sashimi. Deer? Deer. But like they, they lightly cooked um, on a surface. Have you ever had it before? Yes. Is it good? Super good. Super good. You should try it. Super good. You should try it. What about this one here? This one there, okay. This looks like... Uh, Steak. Yeah, this looks like beef. I'm gonna say this is some sort of local beef. Uh, local bear. Local what? Local bear? Local bear. Local bear? You can eat bear in Japan? Uh, they are hunters. A Japanese hunter is called matagi. matagi. And they are the ones that who actually hunt bear. But not like, you know, just shooting around or anything. <laughs> Recently, there are too many bears that sometimes hurt people, and some people are actually killed by a bear too. So, mm. uh, they are like a group of hunters who, who hunt the bear. Um, are only limited to a certain amount of wow. certain number. I've heard bear attacks are actually up recently because uh, as the population goes down in the countryside, the bears have been getting a little bit more bold and actually wandering into these sort of run-down, quiet, sleepy villages. Yeah. 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 So we've got deer, we've got bear. What is this one here? Mushrooms and pork? Wild boar. Wild boar. Same thing. Well, you can't go wrong with wild boar. That's usually pretty good. Okay, well one dish out of three that I know is good, for sure. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see if they live up to the hype. Let's start with the deer. Oh, you haven't had any deer, so you I should. start with the deer. Sashimi. You should, you should dip into the sauce there and put some garlic on. All right, here we go. Deer, 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 deer sashimi. Deer, deer. Good, isn't it? It's really good. <laughs> really good. It actually tastes a lot like sashimi. Mm, it does. If you close your eyes, I mean, if you keep your eyes open, it still looks like sashimi, it tastes like sashimi. That's pretty good. Where are the deer that this come from? Oh, just a mountain back in the oh. backyard, I think. I'm not really sure. But Mountains around the back. <laughs> You've got, what a weird dinner. Deer, bear, boars. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a wrap. <laughs> what kind of wrap is that? Deer, bear, boar. <laughs> deer, bear, boar. Deer, bear, boar. Deer, bear, boar. Boar, bear, boar. Deer, deer, Why is he here? Why is he here? One to ten on the deer? What? Deer, 10. Good ten. Because I love, I love the deer sashimi. I'd give it a nine. So we've lit the grill. Yep. For the, uh, the bear. The bear. In the meantime, let's have some wild boar. Yeah, there's something quite surreal. When I first moved here, I remember I went walking just on my own in the mountains. I was enjoying it, and then I walked past a bear sign. It dawned on me that bears exist in Japan, <laughs> and I turned around and ran back to my car very quickly. While the number of attacks are going up, they're still pretty uncommon to stumble Pretty uncommon, them. and also, like, if bears all like, normally, right, they, they, they fear mm. the human being, so. All right, here we go then. Do you just have it, do you have it with any sauce? No, it's, it's, like it's salted and a pepper. Smells a bit like uh, beef. What, oh, smells like beef, yeah. yeah. There you go. How's that like? It's pretty chewy, but it's got a really satisfying, meaty kind of flavour to it. It does. And it's absolutely covered in salt and pepper with the garlic. It's a really nice combination of flavours. Would I eat it often? No. I think it's a very special meat. I'm going to give the deer 9 out of 10, the pork, the wild boar, wild boar. 8 out of 10, and the bear an 8 out of 10. As well. 8, 8, 9. So deer actually won. Deer won? Yeah, well, deer is really good. I mean, people might find it a little bit, um, you know, uncomfortable or eating. Or Bambi. Uh, yeah, eating Bambi raw. <laughs> Sounds a bit. <laughs> That'll be the title of this video. Yeah, it's so, like eating Bambi raw. <laughs> You'll be sued by Disney, you know what I mean? But what is it about Almory? Why do they hunt bears here, of all places? Well, first of all, uh, there are more and more bears, and they start hurt, like, hurting people as well. That's one thing. And also, these hunters have always been hunting over like 100 years, or more 200 years almost. These hunters, obviously, they, it, we eat, right? Instead of like wasting the meat, right. we actually eat the meat too. So, like, there's often stories in the media you read 
where a bear walks onto somebody's farm, turns up, and has a fight with somebody. Like I read a story about an elderly man in Almory that punched a bear in the face that was attacking his orchard or stealing some apples or... Do you think you could fight a bear? I'll fight with Bambi. Thank you. <laughs> that I can do, for sure. Now that I would pay to see. <laughs> Bambi versus Riottere. Last night, um, I heard like really heavy rain and this morning I woke up and like I saw snow and I and, and got out and this is what I see. The snow in front of me all over. It's a freshly first time I saw snow this year. And this is our Mori. This is it. <laughs> On a clear day, Iwakiyama Jinja, which sits at the base of Mount Iwaki, has a clear view of the mountain, but the snowfall has got in the way. Nevertheless, as we soak up the tranquil surroundings and the locals quietly sweep away the falling leaves, Ryotaro does his best to take advantage of the peaceful shrine. Time to do my morning prayer. If you ever want to do a prayer at a shrine in Japan, the pattern to follow is bow twice, clap twice, say your prayer, and finish with a final bow. Just make sure to pray for something good. What did you pray for? Conquering the world. Conquering the world. At 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What a horrible man. <laughs> he doesn't even have a rebuttal. <laughs> Just that's it, isn't it? Just that's it. Oh, Murray, the home of Apple. Luck! <laughs> My kingdom, Apple Kingdom. <laughs> Fucking terrifying. Every year, over 700,000 tons of apples are produced in Japan, and Aomori Prefecture accounts for over 50%. Even within Aomori, there are places more famous than others for their highly prized apples, such as these orchards here on the outskirts of Hirosaki City. We've stopped off to meet a friend of Ryotaro's, Namiho Denpoya, a native of the distant landlocked prefecture of Nagano. She moved 600 kilometers north to be closer to the sea, and in the years since, she's become a farmer at a massive orchard in the shadow of Mount Iwaki. And there's only one question on Ryotaro's mind. あの、畑でそのまま萌いで食べるのが一番だと私は思ってます。で、中でも、えっと、作業リンゴの作業をしてあの音が乾いたなっていう状態で萌いで食べるのが一番美味しいと思っているので、それ僕に畑で来いって言
Life is short tour. Life is short, short in tour. Aomori tour, that's what it is. That's an amazing idea for a tour. Not history, not culture, just the quickest way to die <laughs> on a tour. Yeah, and, and there is a rule that you, you go to a ramen shop, right, in this tour, mm. and you have to drink up the whole soup of ramen. Oh my god. Because that's a lot of salt. That's a death <laughs> sentence doing that. But what a tour. That would probably do quite well. No, it, it, it did well. It did well. Did, oh, it did do well. It did, did oh. do well. This curry is really good. Uh, the apples, I don't eat it. No, it's horrible. It's disgusting. You don't want it. No, you don't want it. The kind of sweetness and the beef mm. and the curry is really nice. Goes well with right. the spicy flavour. Right. I think per capita, Hirosaki, the city we're in now, has more coffee shops than most places in Japan because each coffee shop has their own variant on an apple pie. And the idea is to get people into their different coffee shops. They right? even have a map. I've got a map that describes oh which my. coffee shop has got what kind of apple pie. This and it, and it opens. bloody hell. And it opens like that. Ah. An apple pie map. If you haven't been sold on Aomori so far, this, this should seal the deal. Yeah, and bloody hell. And they'll tell you where they are as well. And look how many they are. That's what this video should have been. Should have been you and I going to every apple pie shop in Hirosaki. <laughs> and then Between dying. Apple. And then dying. And dying. Sure. And lowering the life expectancy exactly. even more. Exactly. <sighs> to be honest, after all the things we've eaten on our trip, I expect my life expectancy's probably dipped as well. Uh, of all the dishes we've seen on this trip though, which one did you think you want to try the most? The wild boar, the bears, or the, deer. the deer, the apples, the pie, the curry? What would you like to try? Let us know in the comments below. But for now guys, as always, many thanks for joining us on our journey across Aomori today. We'll see you, you right back here see on the Aomori Japan channel. Do it waver again next time. No, no. Your life expectancy is about to get a lot shorter. Dear bad boy, dear bad boy, dear bad boy, bad boy, bad boy.